Hi, I'm Michal Schilling with Windermere Real Estate. And I'm Lisa Steffen at American Pacific Mortgage. So welcome to another edition of Northwest Home Sense, where we will talk about tips and strategies on the home buying process. And today, we're going to talk about multiple offers. McCall, can you share a little bit of information on that? Uh, the rumors are true. The headlines are true. We are living in the most competitive market we've seen in decades. Uh, here in the Northwest, we really do see a lot of competition on the buy side. So we, as agents, need to consult our buyers on how to make the best offer possible. So what are some things that they think about or they, that you strategize with them as far as making a strong offer? In an offer, there are about six ways to compete. Um, most people instantly think price, but the other five are escalation clauses, earnest money, possession terms, appraisal, and inspection. Okay. So of those, you, you mentioned escalation. What exactly is an escalation? An escalation clause is a great way to compete. Um, you basically set your offer price and then you have an automatic bump up or an escalator over the next offer. So to put some numbers to this example, if a home was listed for $500,000, you could use an escalation clause of $5,000 over the next competing offer. So you would write an offer for $500,000, escalating $5,000 to a cap of whatever your desired cap would be. That's why you're seeing so many homes go for way above list price. Got it. So how can somebody find out more information on all the other six or five or whatever we talked about there? <laughs> I've actually created a document. Um, the link is below if you want to download that or contact me for more information. Um, again, price is not the only strategy uh, to compete on, so call me for more details. Perfect. Thanks. We'll see you next time.